Today I'm going to show you how to transform your flabby bat winged arms over 50. Just five exercises, three times a week. It's super simple and you're going to be so proud of yourself when you start seeing results. If you'd like to know how, please keep watching. Hi, I'm Shelley. This is Fabulous 50s, a lifestyle channel that explores fashion, beauty and lifestyle for women over 50. And if you're a woman over 50, click subscribe and click the bell and you'll be alerted every time there's a new video. Today's video is all about toning our arms and getting rid of the bat wings. And as we get older, our metabolism slows down. So we tend to wake up one day and everything seems to have gone soft. That's what happened to me. I was exercising every day but I was walking fast walking get my heart rate up I was doing it for an hour a day but I noticed more and more as I got older everything was getting a bit soft I was fit and healthy but I wasn't toned Luke, what happened with my arms tell them um you had children that's what happened to your arms <laughs> no, but I mean you have kids and um, like life gets in the way. I'm not speaking from experience obviously. I'm not a 50 year old dude or a 50 year old woman. But no, no the, the tips and the tricks to, to help you get better arms. Tell them what you used to say about my arms. <laughs> we were, we, yeah. Well, I mean go, sure. You were, they were unkind. See, they look really good now. But no, they used to kind of hang like a couple inches lower. <laughs> <laughs> they did. They did not. It was... Like, a solid, like... <laughs> they used to tease me constantly. They'd say, Oh, Mum, you think you need to go to the gym? <laughs> and you did, and look what and happened. I did, and I did. Sons so. encouraged me to go along to the gym and start working out my arms and my legs and, and all the other parts of my body so I could tone them up. Because resistance work as you're getting older is so important because we tend to lose our muscle mass when we don't use them. If muscles aren't used, then the fibers within the muscles are partially replaced by fat. And that's when, why we notice everything gets a little bit soft. So as we're getting older and into our 50s, we have to work hard at getting some strength because we need to keep our bodies moving for a lot more years to come yet. So getting some strength in our arms and our legs and our core is one of the most important things we can do. That has to become our job as we're getting older. Everything else won't work unless we're strong. So I'm going to show you what exercises I do, what exercises my kids have taught me to do to help encourage you to give this a try and stick with it because when you start getting results you're just going to be so happy with yourself yeah I was feeling soft and flabby and I did something about it so here's what I did before you start exercising just know that you've got to keep your muscles stretched so I always stretch before I, I exercise and it's a great idea for you to do that too it doesn't take long if you can do this a couple of times a week or do it every day if you have got the time to do it you don't have to be doing your exercise this is a yoga strap you can use a piece of fabric or you can use a broom handle but what you do is you hold it like this and then come up behind your head and then go back very slowly and just do this so you're really loosening up your shoulder muscles and if you do this every day it just lubricates your muscles and makes everything feel better if you don't have much movement you hold your strap out a lot wider and if you want to challenge yourself you hold your strap in a little bit tighter so this is the, the hard part. <sighs> and, oh! Okay, that's when you challenge yourself. To keep it easy, make it comfortable It's to start with. So you can just do lots of these. This is the first of our five exercises. We're going to work on our shoulders. And I've got some four kilo or about 10 pound weights here and you can do this at home if you don't want to go to the gym and you will be able to get the same results as if you're going to a gym you have just got to keep doing it okay the first exercise out of the five is a shoulder exercise and you grab your weights 
and bring them up to your shoulder height. Okay, so I'll just show in the picture here where this is actually working on your muscle and you don't kind of bend back or, or lift throwing your body around. You hold your core in and be very purposeful with each move. Okay, we're going to do three sets of 10 of each of these exercises. As you get a little bit better, you can go up to 12 or 15, three sets of. Okay, the second exercise is also a shoulder exercise. It's working on another part of the shoulder. So you grab your weights and hold them like this, and then you pour like it's a, you've got a glass of water. So here is where you pour. You can imagine the water's coming out. So keep your arms like this. And each movement is purposeful and not fast to get them over and done with. Think about what the muscle's doing while you're doing your exercise. The part where we get our bat wings, this part here, this is called our tricep and we've got to work on our triceps and it can be hard for a lot of people because they don't really get that much use. So when you start exercising them, it can hurt. If you wake up the day after you do this first and it hurts, that's fantastic because the pain means you haven't been using your muscles and now you are and they're alive and they're awake. Hold your weight here at the top and then you support, just with a finger, you support this arm so that it stays straight. So you want to go up and down. Keep in mind if you use a heavy weight for this it will hurt you to start with because this is not a strong muscle that's used to getting a workout. So I'm, the reason I'm holding this is so that it doesn't fly all over the place. It's just a little bit of support and you can see that working. Okay, I'm puffing out because this is a workout. And to finish off our triceps, we're going to work a different part of the tricep. And we're going to work on this part of the arm here. So we're going to go back like this. And you can see in my arms what part of the muscle is getting activated there. You be very careful with each move. and be gentle and use a light weight to start with because you can definitely feel these guys. Okay, 10 of those, each arm, three times. The next thing we're gonna work on is our biceps and most people have heard of a bicep curl and if you just sort of touch your bicep, you can feel this working and you bring it all the way down so this would be the wrong way to do it. Just like this, that's the wrong way to do it. It's got to be on purpose. You think about how your muscles being activated while you're doing the exercise and you bring it all the way down and then up. If you just do these five exercises three times a week, you will start noticing results. But the most important thing to know about exercise at our age is we've got to do cardio as well. So we've got to burn and increase our heart rate. And the fat that sits over the muscles needs to be worn off. So the muscles grow strong and we start stripping the fat. You're going to have a body that is constantly changing and you're going to be so happy with the results that you receive and you will have done it all by yourself. Just get motivated to do this. We've got a long way to go yet and our bodies need to take us there. So it's time to start looking after our bodies like the temple that they are and give it some love and attention. The secret to having a healthy, strong body is resistance training like I just showed you, cardio work, which we can all do, we can all go for walks where we're puffed out, and reducing the amount of sugars and white flours and breads and rice and pasta and processed foods. So if we reduce that and do those other two things, 
you're going to start to have changes and your body will start feeling great. If you have the gift of a body that can do exercise, start doing it because it will keep giving for the rest of our lives. And it's not about being skinny at all. Strong is what we need to be in our 50s, 60s, 70s and 80s and beyond. There's so many things that I would like to improve but I'm happy, I'm proud of myself for being able to tone my arms when they were flabby and to slim down when I was overweight. So it's a process and I'm not comparing myself to anybody else because this is my body and I can only make it as good as I can make it. I can't make it to be perfect what I see on other people. So I'm happy with that and I'm proud of myself. Thank you so much for watching. Please give a thumbs up if this was of any help to you and share it with any of your friends who have got a flabby arm issue. Thank you so much for watching and have a beautiful week.